Making it with Lowe's is an opportunity for small and diverse business owners to get their foot in the door of the home improvement giant. I'm excited to be back with the Lowe's family for the next round of Making It with Lowe's. I think the part that excites me most is getting to hear the personal stories of these entrepreneurs, what they've had to go through, what provided that initial spark of inspiration. If you're an entrepreneur and you're a small business owner and you're trying to get started and you don't have help, it just makes it that much more difficult. We can actually transform someone's life their family's life. We can put something that they've worked so hard for on the market. I think the most successful product is the one that customers pick up and put in their shopping cart. Tonight, the top six entrepreneurs pitched their product for a chance to sell in low stores and gain even more support. Let's get started. We asked each of them to create a short video introducing us to their product. After each video, Lowe's leaders will have an opportunity to ask the business owners some questions. To kick us off, Kimberly Craig and her daughter Jennifer with her Musashi Weeder. The vibrations from this tool pulls the weeds all the way down to the root. It does not grow back for 30 days. Kimberly, I'd love to know what makes the Masashi weeder better than the typical ways in which consumers actually weed their gardens today? The other products are manual. The Musashi weeder, it works by going under the dirt, down to the root. Yeah, and it doesn't curl back for 30 plus days. Here is Frank Lyons from Anchor Hog. I developed Anchor Hog to be able to tie down my equipment. My grill is not next to something that I can wrap something around. The easiest thing is to create the anchor where your equipment is located. How are you going to really convey that message of what this is and what it does? Anchor Hog by itself is just one part of the security system. So I think it needs to be put out there to people in a way that they understand the three parts of the security. Now let's take a look at the video from Denise Sung, who brings us the mobile green wall. Growing vertically is the only space-saving solution to grow more varieties. Our mission is to bridging the gap between plants and urban places. Talk to us a little bit about the production process and your ability to actually scale. The manufacturer that I partnered up with is pretty well established. They are way able to ramp up the production up to 30,000 units per year. Now let's take a look at the video from our next participant, John Farnsworth from Gang Box Lid. The Gang Box Lid is just a simple metal lid that goes over these plastic electrical gang boxes. With the drywall bit, you basically hit this lid and you slide it across and it drops you to the outside edge, which is a lot easier to cut around versus this thin plastic. What's the volume of business that you currently uh, can handle today? I actually recently just talked to my manufacturer and they will be able to manufacture about 400,000 of these per month. Now let's take a look at the video from our next participant, Thomas Barnhill with Quick Sizer. 100% made in the USA, instant diameter gauge. We'll measure any round, semi-round object in metric or standard measurements. Any plans to make this item work for other or larger items? Uh, it's a pretty simple matter, extending the body length. It would measure up to three or four inches diameter. And now we've got Dave Chambers and Stephen Boyd from The Perfect Pea Trap. This product was voted the fan favorite by our customers and Lowe's associates. I'm Dave, I'm the inventor of The Perfect Pea Trap. And I'm Stephen, Dave's partner. You never have to worry about losing an heirloom as it will fall right into the trap and out through the trap door. And you'll never have to call a plumber for a simple clog in your sink. It's funny that you said it's plumber free because that definitely speaks to our DIY culture. What was your personal inspiration that sparked this idea? I'm a second generation plumber. One in particular case, a lady lost a uh, 70 year, three carat diamond earring down her drain. We just could not get the earring. But the next day I woke up right away, I went to work. And today now we have the perfect P-trap. 
literally inspiration in a dream. So <laughs> I think that's fantastic. Six incredible products, and now it's time for the executives to figure out who is moving forward. This may not have as broad appeal as some of the other things we've seen, but certainly is something we can help them continue. I love the pea trap. I swear <laughs> to you, I have a ring down the drain right now. For this one, it needs to be put with the cable. Yes, yeah, so you can make the cable their yeah. own size, right? right? Yeah. 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 That way, it's sold as a kit. We'll let the customer provide their own padlock. Do we think on that our associates, we you know, could some of them could walk around with it too to assist so, customers? Yeah. If from a commercial perspective, does it have to be heavy? Like, what's the point? It of does that? because you know I, I picked the thing up. If it bends, it bend and up. just went like this. Yeah. And look at it. Yeah. Oh. I oh. see. Right. Well, that could be part of how we help them. We loved hearing about how each of your products are making homes better for so many customers. Anchor Hog and Quick Sizer, you're our final two. Now we're moving on to our final phase. Each of our entrepreneurs will have a couple of minutes to tell us their story. As business owners, I'm particularly interested to see how their experience as a veteran has impacted their journey. I was in the National Guard. I was um, a wheel mechanic. Everything that had to do with mechanics has always interested me. And that's what gave me the inspiration to be able to solve my own problems. To be able to move into the retail business is unbelievable for me. All right, well, now let's hear from Thomas of Quicksizer. The opportunity with Lowe's represents to me building more jobs locally through my manufacturer, subcontractors, and so forth that do the different components of the Quicksizer, where my focus goes right back to each time. Exciting as it is to go around and see the product in Lowe's, it's also exciting for me to turn around and look back the other way and seeing my fellow veterans having job opportunities that they didn't have before. It's time for the executives to figure out what they want to do. This program allows us to really help people. So maybe mm -hmm. this one isn't as ready for prime time right now to be our yep. winner, but we can really help get this guy yep. where he wants to go. Yeah. And it's a really great product. It's, it's a, a great, great product, product with multiple uses yeah. and yeah. continues to expand its use, which yeah. for us just makes more people want to come and get it. Damon, I think we have it. To everybody, it was an incredibly uh, difficult decision that we had to make. Both of you guys have really pitched and showed us excellent products. Uh, so Frank, we've selected Anchor Hog as the second place product. Thomas, that means that you and Quicksizer are the top product in this year's Making It With Lowe's. This just goes beyond my wildest dreams. Who's that with you that's waiting to uh, cheer you on? <laughs> that's my lovely wife of 18 years. Congratulations! <laughs> Yeah, I'm so proud of you. We really were just not only so excited by yeah. your product, but moved by your story and your commitment to give back as you grow. Congratulations to all of our participants, and thank you so much to Lowe's for creating opportunities for small businesses to succeed. We're excited about the next steps, and a lot of that came from the direction from Lowe's and their merchant. I'm looking forward definitely to working with Lowe's and um, getting my product out on their shelves. With the Lowe's name behind the Quicksizer, it will open other doors.